Hi everybody, I'm Eric Brooks with Alpine Electronics. Uh, today we're gonna take an inside look at some of our head units, but specifically how they tie in with our dash camera. Right, so we're gonna be talking about the ILX 507, the ILX F509, the ILX F511, the Jeep head units, the I509 WRAJL and the I509 WRAJK. So sit back and let's get ready for the ride. So all these head units that I mentioned have all the same feature sets, right? So they have 720p high definition displays. They do high resolution audio. They have HDMI inputs and outputs. They work with iDatalink Maestro so you can get uh, gauges up on your dash, uh, on the screen of your head unit, uh, all, all kinds of information from your vehicle itself if your vehicle is compatible with Maestro. It has um, two USB inputs. It does wireless CarPlay and Android Auto as well as wired CarPlay and Android auto. It has uh, four volt preamp outputs, all kinds of sound tuning parameters, and it allows you to stream title high resolution content directly into this head unit, right? So there's a lot of great things about this radio, including our RUX HO2 knob. This is our Bluetooth knob that's wireless and it controls volume and subwoofer level right here from uh, this knob. So very cool device and very cool head units. Uh, but what I want to talk to you specifically today about is this DVR C320 advanced ca camera system. So dash cameras are very good products, right? They, they help us with security. They help us feel a, a peace of mind. If you have children or, or, or you just want to protect yourself on your drive, something happens on your drive, you have a recording of what happened, right? Uh, so there's a security to having a dash camera. So what's really cool about this is you can link to a phone, right? And, and see all of your content, do all of your settings on an app on your phone, or you can tie in with our new head units and do all of those things right from your head unit. So we installed this uh, DVR C320R advanced dash camera system in this RAM, and I wanna show you how it works with our ILX F511 head unit. So first up, we're gonna go into the setup menu, we're gonna go to function, and we're gonna go down in the menu to we see dash cam. So we did see dash cam there, we're gonna turn it on. Now we go back to the menu and you see dash cam show up right on the face of your head unit. So we touch that and now you can see live view of the camera itself. So we have a front view camera, which is right here, or the rear view camera, which is right here. So you can see the beautiful studio that we're working in here today. And uh, so from there you see your live view, but you can go into this home page hit confirm, and then you can go into the setup of the camera itself, right? So this thing is really easy con to connect to this head unit. There's a, uh, a video cable that connects. There's a, uh, a LIN adapter cable that connects. That, that gives us all the control. And then you have uh, ignition, power, and ground, right? Constant and ground. So very easy to connect to this. And then it gives you all of this controllability right from the screen, right? So again, we, we saw live view. You can go in and change all of these settings in the head unit, right? So camera settings, you can adjust the brightness uh, for, the, uh, for the camera itself. They're 1080p cameras front and rear and they have night night vision mode, right? So you can adjust that there. Uh, road safety settings. So this has front collision warnings and back collision warnings and lane departure warnings. So you can go in and set all of that stuff up and tell it like at what speed you want it to come on at, right? So if I'm driving in my neighborhood, you know, I don't want to get lane departure warnings all the time going 20 miles an hour. So I might want that to come on at 40 or 50 miles an hour. I can tell it to do that right from the radio. So from there, we can go into some other systems menus and and you know select our language select you know what kind of things it has a security led you can turn that on and off uh, any kind of stamps that you want on your videos if you want speed stamp or gps stamping all of that can go right on and you tell it how to do it right here Another cool thing about this is the fact that there are buckets for your recordings to go into, right? So they're very manageable for you. So if you go into your file list, right? So we go in our file list and we see uh, five different menus here, five different buckets, right? This video, this recorder is always recording. So what it does, it has a continuous uh, bucket, 
right? It has a continuous incident bucket, right? So if there's a, a, a collision or some type of impact to the vehicle, it saves that in that bucket. So it takes that point in time, 10 seconds before, 10 seconds after, and puts it in that bucket. It has a parking mode, right? So it's recording while it's parking, okay? And, but don't worry, it's not gonna kill your battery. Once your battery gets to a certain voltage, it will then stop recording, right? But it, it, it uses very low voltage in that mode and so that it protects the vehicle for you. So you can see if anyone tampers with the vehicle itself or if there's a collision around your vehicle, you can pull it up in this parking incident uh, bucket, right? So anytime there's an incident while parked, uh, it takes that, that point in time, 10 seconds before, 10 seconds after, and saves it in that bucket. Uh, there's also a manual recording mode. So if you have someone that's maybe driving aggressively and you want to, for your own safety, you know, have that uh, recorded uh, for, you know, insurance purposes or any other kind of purpose, you could have that. Or like me, maybe you're driving around, you see a beautiful sunset or a sunrise, uh, a beautiful cityscape that you want to record. These are 1080p cameras. They absolutely look fantastic. So you can hit manual record and it will save that into that bucket. 10 seconds before the point you hit record, 10 seconds after you hit record. So those are all the buckets that you can store these in. So it's a really flexible uh, camera. It's very easy to access all of the recordings that it does. It's great for safety. There's a couple of ways to access this. You can access these recordings through your, uh, through your, through your head unit itself, or you can Wi-Fi link directly directly to a smartphone to your dash camera and access all of these same things from your, uh, from your smartphone and you can download those videos to your phone itself. So a lot of cool things you can do with this. I do have a friend of mine that made a video on these and, and we're gonna drop a link in the uh, description. So make sure if you want more in-depth information on this camera, you check out that video. So I appreciate you taking the time to look at the DVR-C320R with me today and we'll talk to you soon.